May the Lord bless you guys. Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries and want to prophetically decree and declare 1 Timothy 5 14. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Another translation says, stir up the gift. It's like stirring up a finely tuned instrument. You see you go to an orchestra or a concert and they start warming up instruments. If the instrument's cold, it needs to be warmed up if it's made of wood. So you've got to arouse. You have to awaken. You have to stir up the gift that was given to you by the laying on of hands. Now, the laying on of hands is the impartation. Impartation, I've said this many times, is not always taught, but it's caught. You have to be in position to catch an impartation. Elisha said to Elisha, hey, if you're in the right place, the right position, you can catch my impartation or my mantle. You will receive the double portion. So it says, do not neglect the gift that was given to you, but stir up the gift. Guys, you've got to keep stirring up your gift. You've got to keep your gift awakened. You've got to keep your gift finely tuned up. Hallelujah. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor if you're new, please subscribe. Thank you in advance in the comment section. Always prayer requests are welcome. You don't have to be specific. And I am live every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern New York, about an hour or so prophesying. I've been bringing on guests. It's different than these little five, six, seven minute shows. They're powerful. Now, I want to pray for you in several moments towards the end of this show that the anointing to stir up the gift, the impartation will radically come on you that you'll be a God chaser. Not only you'll chase the Lord because the Lord's chasing you. You know, Paul said, I must apprehend him because he's apprehended me. We've got to really just get to the place in life where we allow God to catch us. Now, let me read to you 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. This charge I commit to you, son Timothy, According to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. What this is saying is, you know, there could be promises over your life, prophecies, the prophetic, which is the intention of heaven over your life, for you to have a destiny, an inheritance, a future, a hope. But some, these things just don't automatically happen. You know, God doesn't just make a promise or a prophecy or something which is conditional and you don't have to get in line to receive it or get into position to be able to sustain it because the Bible clearly says if you don't have the new wine skin, when the new wine's poured out, it'll abort and fizzle out and leak. So you have to have the new wineskin. So when the new comes, the new wine, it'll sustain and it'll last and it won't abort and fizzle out. Nothing automatically just generally happens. Now, listen, there's some things out of the mercy and grace of God that he just does for us. I know that. But there's some things that he does for us and there's some things that he does with us. It does say the Lord working with them, confirming many signs and wonders. Listen, I'm trying, I'm not an expert at this. I'm just trying to figure out some of these mysteries and grow. But as I've learned through the years, I'm trying to learn, be groomed, and understand more of how the Lord functions. And I will be doing this till the day we're taken home. But there is mysteries I know in Ephesians. It talks about that God will reveal mysteries to his apostles and prophets in the last days, in the end times. Like there's an unfolding of things. There's going to be seals that are going to be opened towards the latter times so the God's people can be endured and can be strengthened and can outlast the battles, praise the Lord. So you've got to wage a good warfare with the prophecies that were made concerning you. 
that by them you may wage the good warfare. Father, I'm asking for strength, tenaciousness, a radicalness about for the people of God that they can endure, that they can wage the good warfare. Like I just did a show, guys, Daniel chapter 10, the 21 days, the king of Persia withstood Daniel. You've got to break through. You've got to press through. You can't give up. You've got to persevere. You know, it may not come instantaneously. It may come in succession like an onion or a process. So just a key, man. I've learned, hey, the Lord bless you. Check out any other shows on the channel. You're more than welcome. If you're new, please subscribe. Tell people about the channel. I'm live Mondays, 9 p.m. Blessings in Jesus' name.